The special advisor on project monitoring and audits to the executive governor of Delta State, engineer Dr. Good News Agbi, has called on the residents of Afagbe and neighboring communities in Isoko North government area of Delta State to cooperate with contractors to see that the 24 kilometer Isoko Ring Road project running from Elu, Ovrode, Afagbe, Urie, Okba Isoko, Uro, to Adahiri in Isoko North and Isoko South be completed without rancor. This is coming amid the reports of fallouts between contractors and residents as the flood ravaged community residents have been alleged to be charging huge sums of money from contractors for sand and other materials in the land to work, thereby slowing the process of the multi billion naira project initiated by former governor of Delta State. Dr. Ifanyu Okowale administration, which is now being continued by Governor Sherry Foborowori. Dr. Agbi made the call during an on the spot inspection of some projects across Delta State in company with his team of seasoned engineers from the Project Monitoring Commission. The day's inspection kicked off at the College of Medical Sciences Complex of the Delta State University, Abo, in Nikasa local government area, as a team inspected the Jajatic project with Agbi, giving a thumbs up to the contractors for a good job being undertaken. The site engineer did promise that the project should be ready before the end of 2024, but also lamented the high cost of materials and labor, calling for a review of the contract which Dr. Agbi promised to forward to the state governor. The team made their way from Agbo to inspect the 36 kilometer Umutu Ubiaruku in Okwane local government area road down to Abraka and Eku in Ethiopia's maintenance project set to kick off in no distant time. Agbe also made a stop to inspect the rehabilitation and asphalt lane of Ohore Adabasa Ogolo Okodiete Road with spur from Adabasa Ogolo through Uwagba community to Okan Junction along the Eko Osubi Efun Road in Okba local government. A project he applauded the contractors for a job well done. From Okba local government, the team made a stop at the Aosa Market Flood Control Majors project ongoing across Efron and its environs. The Section C Asaba Ugele Worry Express Road Rehabilitation Project was the next point of call before the team made their way to the 24 kilometer Tokori Road Project from Elu, Ovrode, Ofagbe, Orie, Okba Isoko, Uroto Adahiri in Isoko North and Isoko South local government areas known to be flood ravaged every rainy season. Agbe during a chat with media men reflected on the day's assignment, expressing confidence at work done on some of the project before hinting on the anomaly taking place at Ofagbe and why the indigents must show such behavior and work with contractors as the governor sheriff of Borowori's led administration has zero tolerance for poor behavior. Dr. Agbe said Borowori is braced to deliver to Deltans and as such needs the cooperation of every community and local government for the more agenda to be actualized. Yeah, so some of the contractors were doing some good job. Others, basically all the ones we inspected today, they are doing very good job. They did well. Especially the Chinese one, the one at uh, Usubi, as is, Adab Grasa. You all saw it, very good job. And then uh, the Uti, good work is being carried out there. But as you can see here, of Rode, of Fagbe, this road, according to what I learned, supposed to come from a diary down to 24 kilometers. But the problem here is that the community, the community boys and community people are refusing the contractor to work. You want to take sign here, he say he must pay. Along the road where he's willing with sign, he say he must come and pay. So I appeal to the political leaders of Fagbe to quickly come and talk to their youth, to their people, so that they will allow the contractor to work. Otherwise, during rainy season, God forbid, if there's flood, they can never get to their places. As you can see, you can see what is happening here. And a lot of government money has been sunk into this place. If there's any, anything they want to claim, they should do it the proper way, but not to solve the contractor. We need to encourage the contractor to come. If he doesn't come, the contractor has nothing to lose. The government has everything to lose. It's an urgent appeal for them to allow the contractor to work here. So we encourage everybody to support this government, to support the governor in doing more for the people of Delta State. That support also includes those uh, stakeholders in the construction sector. 
from the MDAs to everybody to support the government to do good work for Delta State. Agbe also inspected the Ugele Asabadua carriageway, the EAD RAD section. He told the contractor that the section between Emevo and Owe Aziz is already failing as potholes are developing, which according to Agbe, because the formation level at the section was not properly compared. It is therefore allowing water to collect on the road, hence the potholes and Agbe, therefore as a contractor Levant to go back to that section as a matter of urgency to correct it before it degenerates into a major failure. You saw us when we spoke to Lavante. We said at the MFO axis and the, and the Ottoway Junction, they have to go back quickly and address that issue because you see portal, portals are developing along the road. They have not finished road, portals are developing. And you heard when I was telling the contractor's representative, once you have those type of alluvial soil like what we ha what we have in those that as is up to this side once you feel you treat the sub base this uh, the subgrade and you don't cover it immediately water start going down the whole of the subgrade sub base will the uh, water will percolate it become compromised so when you cover the uh, you cover the portal it will go back again. You cover it, it will go back. You, there's no way you will solve that problem because the subgrade, for you generally, let me explain. Sub, uh, subsoil is where, and the subgrade is where this, the road, where I may rest on. The other stand. So, that place that when you are seeing construction of road, they remove a lot of soil to fill and bring it to the formation level. That's what we are calling the sub, uh, sub, uh, sub base and sub base and uh, subgrade. So once water enters that place, like water entering soil, it becomes what you call potter potter. The other time, so when vehicles like trailers are passing, that place will go down again. When you go and repair it and pack asphalt and pack stone, trailer passes it, it will go down. So that is the major problem in that area. And that's what I've just told Lavante. They must go there to, re to put that thing in order as a matter of urgency. And he has agreed that after the salary is moving there, you should not be doing any work here. Because that place, if it doesn't do it, in the next three months, that place will not be filled with poor Before the end of the year again, you will be going through there because that place has been bad. So apart from that, the other ones we expected, they are okay. The other stand. My name is Akurero Henry Akbos, and this is Rero TV.